the objective of the research is looking at uh, effects of mechanical loading forces on connective tissues like cartilage, very basic problem. There are clinical applications in diseases such as osteoarthritis, um, some second cousins to the processes that, that go on in rheumatoid arthritis, uh, and a very fundamental biological and bioengineering question of how mechanical loading forces affect living cells in our tissues and can make those tissues remodel, degrade, or repair, depending on the type of force that's involved. John's been studying how mechanical forces affect living tissues using bovine knee joints. John will cut cartilage and bone cores from the knee joint. Uh, he'll then harvest the cartilage and immediately place them into a living culture system in the incubator. Then he'll take pieces of cartilage and put them in an instrument to simulate various mechanical loading conditions of our joints, like the knee joint. Sometimes we walk, sometimes we jump, sometimes we're just sitting or standing around. We can simulate these various mechanical conditions to simulate a real injury and then after the mechanical loading is done he'll then go through various measurements of the biological properties of the tissue. He can look at gene expression, taking the tissue, freezing it under liquid nitrogen conditions and then smashing the tissue so that you can extract the RNA, the molecule in the cell that's telling us how gene expression is being affected by these mechanical loading forces. There's an epidemic of knee joint injuries happening to high school and college people, especially women, at much higher rates than men, in which tears of uh, ligaments like the ACL or tears of the meniscus will ultimately lead to osteoarthritis. So one of the uh, ongoing objectives right now in collaboration with the pharmaceutical industry uh, we're using our model system as a drug discovery tool because we can create an injury in the incubator um, without needing an animal model yet. It's an initial filter and we can follow the efficacy of using certain drug compounds to prevent or halt the pathology that's induced by this mechanical loading. It's a problem that is not just focused in one aspect of science or engineering. In our own group, we have uh, students, undergraduates and graduates in mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, material science, physics, math, uh, chemical engineering, and people that are hardcore cell and molecular biology folks. It's a very multidisciplinary area, and this is kind of a, a hallmark of bioengineering in general now.